Okay, so um, so it stands for Meyer Briggs Type Indicator. Uh, in actually is <clears throat> is based on the work of the Swiss uh, psychiatric uh, C. G. Uh, Jung. Okay, uh, it's pronounced as Jung. <laughs> a theory of uh, psychology types. Then how Jung uh, define this into uh, eight types of patterns. Uh, here you can see the eight types of pattern where it's extroversion, introversion, sensing, intuition, thinking, feeling, judging, and perceiving. Uh, so what they use the MT, MBTI for? Actually, they use for to develop yourself, okay? And you can use it for uh, gain self-awareness and developing yourself and working with the team, uh, do team building. Okay, if you can use MBTI for team building excellence. I have done for many companies where they don't just do any team building. They just use MBTI as a base for team building and you can see the result is tremendous. And then uh, also use it for understanding the stress. Okay, I will touch a little bit on this later. And career development, uh, working relationship and communication. Uh, resolving the conflicts, leadership style, managing a change, uh, various the uh, diversity, uh, diversity, the differences between you and me, and problem solving, leadership coaching, and organization uh, developments. So many, 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 many usage, and uh, in short, it helps to us to achieve a better a uh, result in work and life. Uh, first pair is a uh, extrovert. We say of introvert. Okay. This is the first one we're going to learn. Uh, bear in mind, uh, they are not when you still see the word extrovert, introvert, uh, people will associate with social skill. People will misunderstood that the introvert that means that is a person that is very shy. Uh, no, this is nothing to do with social skill, nothing to do with shyness. Uh, it's about the direction we focus our attention and energy. It's about the energy. Okay, people who prefer extroversion, uh, okay, they focus their energy, <clears throat> they very much focus their energy to outside. Mm. They are interested in the world of the people and things. They direct their uh, energy attention outwards and receive the energy from interacting with people and from taking action. And because of this, they can get very bored restless if they are alone too long uh, uh, like my daughter uh, uh, elder daughter she's extrovert okay if a few days didn't go out she'll say oh very sienna mama oh very sienna uh, uh, when he, when he was she was in uh, brisbane and then uh covid time wow she said cannot go out wow no once uh this a uh, lockout over wow she will quickly or go Go out and uh, go to jalan jalan, go shopping, you know. Yeah. So, so they get very quick, become bored and restless if they are alone. Okay, uh, they got no energy if they are alone. Their energy is out, is suck. Okay, but when they go out, they mingle with people, they talk to people, uh, they interact with people, they do things outside. And that is where they get their energy back. So it's all about energy. But introvert, uh, then you look at yourself, whether you are more to extrovert or you are introvert. Eh? Uh, introvert, like, people who prefer introvert is uh, people that <laughs> they will focus their energy, their attention inwards. Ah, and they are very interested in the inner world of their thoughts and reflection. Okay? Uh, they will direct their energy and attention inwards. They receive the energy by reflecting on their thoughts, by meditating, by being alone, okay, by reading, okay, by thinking alone. Uh, okay, that is how they get their energy introvert. The sensing and the intuition is the way. Is really the way that uh, we take in the information and uh, what kind of information we like and trust. Uh. This is also very, very interesting, but let us pay attention to this. I'm going to go through very fast uh, because I try to finish all the four, okay, all the eight patterns. Okay, sensings mean we take in and presented the information in a very sequential, step by step. Okay, intuition can jump in here and there one. Huh? 
uh, because he's always think of the big picture, the concept, okay, so they can jump in and out and start from nowhere and end at nowhere one, okay, that is intuition. So people who prefer sensing, uh, they prefer to take the uh, information using their five and all, we say, five senses sight, sound, feel, smell and taste. So they like to take in information by seeing the big picture. They focus more on the relationship and connection between the facts. They want to grasp the patterns and they usually you can see the new possibility, uh, the new things, the concept, the ideas. Uh? Okay, they see pattern, possibility, connection and meaning in the information. They are very conceptual and uh, abstract in fact. Okay, they start, they can start anywhere, then lead anywhere, jump anywhere, and over anywhere. Okay, and they speak and write in general, metaphoric terms, and live in the future possibility. And they prefer imagination and ingenuity to reality. The intuition part, they will study the overall design to see how the parts fit. So they will study the overall first. Okay, they love the change, the new ideas, the variety. They prefer imaginative new solution to problem and become impatient with details so if you have an intuition uh, boss they're very impatient with details okay they oriented to present reality factual concrete focus on what is real and actual observe and remember specific uh, again this one is a uh, sensing uh, huh? so in short the s will see the specific part and the pieces and the n will see the patterns and relationship s will like the things that are definite measurable because practical realistic Okay, step by step, detail. But N will like the opportunity of being innovative and uh, S will prefer handling practical method. That's why if you want to, let's say, train, you know S and N, you know MBTI, for S people, how can they do a good job? Simple, demo. Okay, join field work. Let's say it's in sales, join field work, role play. Uh, because they, they like the practical, uh, they want to see is practical. Okay, but N no need because they can imagine uh, they prefer imagine imagine possibility and as you need to let them tell them step by step mm. so if you don't get them step by step they won't able to do their job well because that is the way how they prefer they prefer the step by step even instruction give them step by step mm. so they will start at the beginning step one step at a time and by end they can jump anywhere go anywhere okay and as they will work hands on on the part by part and then see the overall, fix the overall. But N is the other way around. Overall first and then only go to the part. Sometimes they don't even go to the part because they are impatient with the details. Okay? S will live in the present here and then the N will live towards the future, anticipated what might be. So S will enjoy using and refining the known and the familiar. They, they feel very comfortable with things they know. That's why S will use a lot of their past experience okay, to do things. But N will use of a lot of the future, the concept, the ideas to work out things. Okay, so uh, then that is sensing intuition. In short, we say S is a reality uh, check and N is uh, exploring the possibility. So again, we use both when making our observation about the world, but we don't use them if we equal trust. We still have preference for one over the other. Okay. Thinking and feeling is the way we make decisions. Uh, the way we make decisions and thinking feeling they'll make decision by stay back from the situation take the very objective view but feeling people will make more on the empathic view okay let's very quickly go through this and see whether how you make which way you prefer to make your decision uh. thinking people they decide with the head you see okay they make their decision based on objective what is the objective i want to achieve uh, what will be the consequences if i don't achieve it uh, so, but feeling people is with the heart, okay? With the heart, what is the value of doing this? Okay, when decide this, will it hurt people or not? Will it help people or not? So, they decide based on people, based on the values, okay? Which is totally opposite with us, thinking. And then thinking, they will go by logic. They will analyze for you the pro and the con, okay? If you do that, what is the pro? If you do that, what is the con, okay? Uh, then they will uh, they will energize themselves by uh, critique, by analyzing, by solve the problems. But F people is feeling it goes by personal conviction. Okay, they will make sure ah, this decision made is it good for people? 
is it aligned with the value okay is it the person will be comfortable with this decision uh, does it help the people so this is how they go by personal and MT people they only concern with principle what is the principle uh, behind what is the standard mm. what is the justice the truth okay like the judge huh? okay but as people were concerned with value with relationship with harmony when they make decision all right okay yep. so t they see things as on a local from outside a situation but s uh, but f will see from the between a situation okay so t will take a long range view which they will see what is the future two years three years down the road what is the objective okay but f will take more immediate now and take more on a personal view which is not based on fact which is not based on objective okay so and uh, t very quickly come to spontaneous quickly but uh, yep. f will rather than critique they appreciate Ah, you see or not? You see the two different, the uh, different way of making a decision. At the end, what F when they make decision, they want harmony. They want a very positive interaction. Uh, they are guided by their personal value. They are more empathetic. Okay, so and uh, T will analyze at good at analyzing the plan, but F will good at understanding people the last part very quick okay the judging and perceiving is a uh, judging is a uh, they work like to what to as plan and then there's a deadline in the schedule way but perceiving is wow the best is no deadline then very open okay and uh, last minute they can last minute rush for everything one okay so judging people uh they will be orderly very order they want the deadline uh they want to have a framework uh they want to close okay so uh they open one one thing they need to close it before they move to another task they need to move so if you give too many pe things to the judging people he will get very stressed out because they haven't finished one you give it another one you haven't finished one you give it another one and then you cannot give uh judging people a lot of last minute because they want plan plan orderly okay that is that is them and then they need to close uh, so if handling project very good give to the judging people to to lead the project because they always make sure people all the people under the project meet the deadline follow the structure okay follow the plan uh, stick to the schedule okay so they like to make plan follow get, get things settled and finish they like the environment with structure with framework okay they enjoy being decisive okay and organizing things have the headline deadlines and uh, time limits comfort plan ahead to avoid any last minute rush okay so uh but perceiving people okay perceiving people is they they they, they are not organizing things as is like this they they want to keep the thing open they want to have a more option ah. they want to explore more just because they are very flexible they are very spontaneous they want to see more any more options so they, they don't know how to close so if you get a perceiving people who are not trained as a j people and really perceiving and to lead a project the whole project will go yeah so because i have this experience before they don't know how to keep to the deadline they they don't know how to close it because they keep open and open and open as long new information coming they explore new thing coming they explore okay that is uh, perceiving people okay they, so they like to respond resourcefulness to changing situation they like to leave things open and get more information they like the environment which are flexible they don't like rules and limits uh, they may not uh, like making decision even they are pressed okay because they don't want to close they will tend to think there's a plenty of time to do the things uh, then they often have to rush to complete things at the last minute because the boss said this is the last ready cannot delay anymore uh, then they quickly rush okay <laughs> all right that is a uh, p people lah. okay so in wow. short uh, we have a uh, j is prefer an organized lifestyle so it's very interesting when when we go uh like uh because normally in the hotel we have a two trainer to stay in the hotel so if i with a j trainer uh when they open their luggage you can see one they are in their luggage 
they are thing organized very organized one uh, panties panties a uh, shirt shirt and uh, um, and the uh, the pen pants uh, very structured but when you see the p people you they open their luggage you can see everywhere one okay you cannot differentiate where is the shirt where is the <laughs> underwear everywhere okay and you know how the j and p they pack the luggage okay and j they need time to susun everything susun nicely the susun in the part of the luggage but p people will take this and that come everything put in the luggage and zip up uh, that is p so when you open the p drawer that is how exactly you see but you open the j drawer that is how you see so they want to organize a lifestyle but p want to be flexible a lifestyle okay uh, i remember that uh, uh when last time when i was temporary school uh, teacher because i'm a j and i cannot tahan the teacher that sit beside me is a p her desk is super super messy and you one day i cannot tahan really i help her to susun everything nicely and you you know when she come back <laughs> she scream she shout she say where are my things i say where are your things i say your thing is there ma. i help you to organize it nicely but i cannot find i say but i really help you to this is your book this is what he said i cannot find I said okay, okay, okay. Then I mess it up all over like what before, and then she can find. It. That is a uh, high people. Interesting one, huh? okay. But J people like a definite order and structure, and B people like going with the flow, okay. And uh, J people like a clear limit and categorize, and P people like freedom to explore without a limit. And J people like decide to stop, okay. No more, okay. P, but no need, no need. Stop one. Oh, open and open because they are curious. They got, they want to have surprise. They can have surprise. So last minute you give to P, okay. They won't angry. But last minute you give to J, J will be angry because I don't like last minute J said. So they feel very comfortable if they closure. They have a framework and then each time they close. But P, P feel very comfortable. There's openness. Okay, J like to have a life under control. P prefer to experience life as it happened. Okay, J everything must be in my control. Deadline, plan in advance. Okay, according to plan. P say never mind. I last minute still can last for it. Last for the uh, the deadline. Yeah. Uh, I I will share my experience is uh, I I really benefited from this MBTI. It yeah. really helped me to build a very solid and very strong team okay uh, uh that is why why i i like the title one plus one is uh, more than 11. Yeah. so by applying mbti i can see my team really they work very happily uh very harmony they joke each other they have a common language or this mbti they know how to uh, make use of the strength of the other and make a lot of a uh, very a uh, good project and then uh, uh, a lot of spark class and uh, a lot of quality work uh, come up uh, so that's why i'm a strong believer that if everybody you can apply your mbti in your team super mm. thank you thank you environment is very important